Well, Sam, an emotional day for, for everyone connected with Stockport County, really, following the news of you leaving the club this afternoon. Six incredible years at Edgeley Park, two titles, over 200 appearances from the National League North all the way to the Football League. You've asked to do this interview today, as, as I believe there's a lot you want to say. Yeah, no, obviously it was my decision to do this interview. I think I just wanted to um, get across my thanks to, to everyone, really. Uh, obviously, people do it in their own ways, but personally, I wanted to... Um, to speak to you and to speak to everyone and just to say uh, thank you and goodbye I guess obviously like you mentioned there six years uh, six incredible years a lot of success uh, very proud that every season I've been here we've improved um, our league position to the point where we're back in the football league where we belong um, obviously I will be leaving and uh, it's a club I'd never really want to leave you know truthfully but after speaking with the gaffer and a few other people I think playing time would have been limited um, and it's a short career in football, it's football, so um, I need to be playing games and, um, and like I say, it's not, it's not an easy decision, but it's one that I've had to make, um, not easily at all, but um, you know, I can look back with extreme pride at the stuff that I've achieved. Um, like I said, the club is back in such a good place. Um, a lot of credit has to go to Mark Stott um, since he's, he's come in, he's transformed the club. Uh, he's done a lot for me personally in terms of, um, you know, looking after my living situation um, uh, on top of other things. And then, like you see with the club, he's he's given so much to the club and, you know, a lot of credit has to go to him for where we're at now and where we continue to go. Um, a big thanks to Simon Wilson as well, who has also helped me a lot, um, you know, and, and played a big part in the club getting it to where it is now. Um, the club's in an amazing place, you know, with the the setup now and, and the group of lads that we've got. Um, the new lads coming in have really embraced the club already and the lads that were there obviously last season and, and prior to that and still a few of the OGs still in there. Um, the club's in a really good place and, um, and and like I say, it's really good for me to, to, to know that I've left it in a place now where it's just going to keep going and going. Um, when I think back to when I signed well over six years ago, we were part-time in the National League North, um, training on a national turf at a school, um, eating triangular sandwiches, and now, now it's back in the, in the Football League for full-time. Um, the stadium's transformed, the training ground's incredible, we've got our own chef. Um, it, the, the standards have just grown and grown, and to have been a big part of that um, really does mean a lot to me and, and something I can look back on with pride. Um, and, and, and yeah, it's... It really wasn't an easy decision, but one that I definitely had to make and I'm looking forward to my, my next opportunity. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's been an incredible, incredible time. Um, so yeah. I mean, you touched on it a couple of times there. I guess when you look at it, you are going out right at the very top now, a National League champion and having achieved that goal of getting the club back to where it belongs. How proud are you of, of what you've achieved here? Incredibly proud. Um, you know, when I first joined, um, after leaving university, my, my aim was to get back playing professional football in the Football League um, and, and that, that was my aim and when I joined Stockport I felt like that matched theirs, um, sort of just seemed to match and, um, and I could feel, like I've said in previous interviews, I could feel the hurt and the pain that the, that the club had been through for so long um, and similar to me I wanted to repay them with, with the Football League, I've said that countless times. Um, so to be able to have played a big part in that means a, a lot to me because um, I could really feel that and I, and I know that the club was crying out for you know, um, a change when, when Jim Gannon came in. I think that was the flip in the 15-16 season, I think it was when I signed. Um, everyone seems to call that as the season where things started to rebuild. Um, so to have been there from the start and then watch it grow and grow um, really has been... Uh, very special to me and something I'll never forget. I mean, when you look back on when you first joined the club, could you ever imagine this club becoming such a big part of your life, really? Yeah, yeah, I could. I, I don't know what it is. I just I just knew that it would work. I remember graduating and moving back home and Flinny um, managed to speak to Jim and get me, you know, signed on. Um, and I just remember thinking this just really fits and suits um, for the reasons I've just spoke about. So, um, so yeah, I, I, could see, I could see the way it was going. I knew at some point it would be taken over. I knew that the takeover would be done in the right way. And I know that there were 
you know, multiple offers. But like I've said, I think Mark Stott uh, really does buy into the club and fully understands the community, um, the fans, the players. He just gets it. He really does get it. And so does everyone that he's brought in, um, including the gaffer and all of the staff. Um, and that then that, that goes for everyone that's been involved since I've been here, you know, Jim Gannon, Simon, everyone that's been involved. Um, the list goes on, it really does. But everyone during that period um, has, has set such a good example to the club. Um, so it is no surprise to me that we are where we, we are and we're back. And uh, and I just know that that will continue to, to grow and grow. Um, and I'll be there on Saturday supporting the lads because I'm now a supporter as well. Um, because, like I've said, the the club really does play a massive part in, and will will uh, have a you know a massive part in my heart for the rest of my life. I was just going to go around to say then, as sad as it is to see you go, I do get the feeling it it won't be the last we see of you at Edgeley Park. Will you be keeping connected to the club whilst you're away? Hundred um, percent. I have I've had a really positive meeting with Simon Wilson, um, where you know the club have stated how they want me to be connected to the club. Um, obviously, I've got my degree. The club are going to help me with my UEFA B coaching badge, which I'm really grateful for. Um, and he has also sat me down and gone through multiple options that I can look into because the plans that the club have going forward with the academy, um, alongside everything else, um, it really is exciting times and something that I would definitely want to be part of. Obviously, my my main focus is to have success in my next chapter and my next opportunity, and that being my main focus. But um, because I've been at the club so long and the affinity I've got for the club, it's something that I definitely want to stay connected to and I will definitely stay connected to the club. Working in the community, that's something that I've done for five, six years now. Um, I think I've connected with every single fan there is <laughs> at some point during that time. Um, so that is something I really want to um, look into and explore and I'm very grateful for the, for the opportunity from Simon and Mark. Uh, I believe I'll be sitting, with, sitting down with them soon to go through all of the plans and then look into how I can um, how I can you know play a part in the club still and like I've just touched on there I'll be there on Saturday and any games I can get to I'll be there um, supporting the boys because full belief they'll go and do it again. Yeah it's really great to hear I mean there's been so many highlights from your time at the club it's probably hard to pick one but what have the, the standout moments been for you when you look back at your time at Edgeley Park? Uh, the, the two promotions obviously um, you know to to finish as champions as well um, and to be the first people alongside you know the three other boys Ash, Keno and Ben to, to achieve championship twice um, and go down in the history books is, is something that will always stay with me uh, obviously the standout games like your West Ham games your Bolton games um, you know huge huge games for the clubs sort of puts back on the map so to speak um, and, and, and the, the way that those games went uh, but it's all been an incredible experience. I can't pick out an exact moment, but I've just loved it all. Um, like I say, there's been far more highs than there has lows, that's for sure. Obviously, a couple of injuries here and there, but the support I've received throughout that time um, has been second to none. I really can't thank everyone enough for that. Um, you know, when I first signed my first game at Alfreton at home, I'll always remember that because you realise the size of the club and the hunger of the fans to get back to where we, we, we you know, wanted to get to. And then the process, the, the long away trips, um, you know, the cup runs like I've touched on, the championships, it all just rolls into one, but the residing memory is just one of success and incredible memories. Well, I can't let you go without talking one last time about those county fans, because your relationship with them over the last six years really has been so special, adored by those supporters, and that, and that clearly went both ways as well. Do you have a, a final message for them? Yeah, just um, just to thank them for everything that they've done, um, for me and for my family. Um, I've always had an incredible relationship with the fans. I think they are the heartbeat of the club. They're the reason why this club is so special. Um, they were there through the dark days, and I, I think that now's the time, um, You know, especially since I've joined, where... I can see they've got that passion and love back and connection with the players um, and the club. And like you've seen, it's just growing and growing and growing. Um, so, yeah, can't really thank the fans enough um, for everything that they've done. Like I say, I think I've connected with the fans, whether that's in the community, at the schools, uh, at games, seeing them out in Stockport. Um, you know, it's a connection that I don't want to lose. Um, and I love you all and I can't thank you enough for 
for everything that you've done for me. Um, and, you know, I, I wish you all the success in the future. Um, I thank all the fans. I thank all the current staff, previous staff, um, the players that I've played alongside. It's been incredible six going into seven years. Gutted not to get a chance in the Football League, but such is football. Um, you know, the club really does have a special part in my heart and, and that um, that will never leave. And just thanks to everyone for playing such a, a massive part of my life. And the club, you know, like I say, will always be there for me and I'll always be there for the club. Sam, on behalf of all county fans, I just want to say thanks to you as well for everything you've done for the club over the last six years. One of the greatest servants this football club has ever had and, and probably ever will have. So thank you for everything and, and we'll hopefully see you back at Edgeley Park soon. Definitely. Thank you very much.